Hi, and welcome back. This week on Karen Traveler. So summer is ramping up. It's still kind of chilly and windy, at least today. But uh, we have had some beautiful, warm, sunny days. I heard a quote this week that I really loved, and uh, it's that life is too short to be small. Benjamin Desraeli, I think. And boy, is that true. I mean, no matter how much you love your work, don't let your work become your life. And I think everybody's familiar with the old quote that you know, on your deathbed, nobody ever wished they spent more time at the office. So just make sure that you live a wide and full life and find adventure where you can. So sharing some of that adventure with you this week. After getting off work uh, Friday morning, I went back home and slept for a while. And then that afternoon got up by three and got out to uh, the Red Rock Park, did the hike back to Church Rock again. And I uh, got to trial out the uh, drone again. It's a DJI Mavic 2. You've seen some of the footage before. But I really, what? I need to get more familiar with it. And there were two intelligent flight modes Take I wanted off. to try, which was the uh, follow mode and the point of interest mode where it does a circle around a, uh, a point that you have. I was gonna try waypoints, but point of interest ended up being better. Um, so I'll show some of that here. Uh, this is ending the circle around Church Rock. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit record on the, the first part of the circle, but I'll go back and finish it later. And then, uh, as you see over here, this is follow mode, which did pretty well. The obstacle avoidance really impressed me. It, it you know, avoided the trees and stuff as I was trying to jog. I also got to check out the, uh, I got a new lens for this camera, which is a uh, RF 50 millimeter lens. Um, it's a little close, it's too close to vlog with it, but uh, I got to film a little bit while I set up the drone, so you see that in the shots of the drone launching. Pretty happy with it, it certainly makes a more compact uh, kit, but uh, like I said, it's a little too close to, to vlog with it. You have to be about mm, six feet away, eight feet away to be in frame. I was also trialing out the uh, Peak Design carbon fiber tripod, which is a pricey little item, but I am loving it. it is, it's super light and compact, and uh, it's, it fits in the cabinet better. And like I've said before, sometimes minimalism is about finding the right item, and sometimes it's about buying a more quality item, and hopefully smaller and more compact so that it utilizes the space better. So super happy with this tripod. This is the uh, Peak Design Carbon Fiber Tripod uh, Unpacked. A lot of people had complained that it was hard to get into the sleeve there. I don't know if they've redesigned the sleeve, but I've had no trouble. It's, it's well designed as far as I can see and slides in there pretty well. And that is the tripod setup. Really liking it, sleek design. I'm really liking uh, Peak Design's little um, shoe plates too. They're super low profile so you can kind of leave them on the camera and, and still set it relatively flat on a surface. So I just leave this little prof this little uh, shoe in there and uh, snap it right into the right into the tripod. While I was out at Red Rock Park I got to shoot a intro video for the channel. Hi, so check that out just to give people an idea of what the channel is about, channel what to expect. Video to share a little bit about Show a little bit of that here. What... But it went pretty well. And Saturday I got up pretty early and uh, met some friends, Jen and Yvette, from work. And we drove out to uh, Bandelier National Monument just outside Los, Los Alamos. I wanted to share with them some of my favorite hikes in New Mexico. And uh, one of them, Cerro Grande on the Valles Caldera border. It's about 10,000 feet, a little bit over. 
and super pretty. It would have been, it ended up being pretty icy and muddy and it would have been a whole lot prettier in the summer. But uh, we had a great time. They both did a great job. They both hiked to the highest they've ever hiked, which is pretty cool. You just gotta punch through it. It's called post holing. <laughs> and uh, after that we went over to Bandelier National Monument walked around and uh, saw the Pueblos and the cliff faces. And then Yvette and I hiked up to the, uh, the Overlook Point, which is about six miles up the canyon wall and then uh, across the Burnt Mesa. It's four. Yeah. You're dying. Did you see our trail? Yeah. Right here. Uh. And after that, we uh, swung by to get dinner in Santa Fe on the way home and then had a nice, pleasant drive home. Sunday was pretty chill, uh, about the biggest thing, I ended up doing a LED lighting project in the bathroom of the Airstream. Got to put a video together of that. That's kind of the temperature I like right there. I'll show a little so bit yeah, here. yeah, super happy with this, assuming it, it holds, I we'll hope it will. Uh, yeah. You can really check out that full it. video on the, nice. on the channel website. Since I was doing laundry anyway that day, I shot a video on how to get uh, sweat stains out of dark clothing. That'll uh, come up tomorrow, so check that out. Should be helpful to some folks that have trouble with that. Something I've been trying to find a solution to for a while. Also, it's kind of a sub project for this week. I've been uh, pretty far behind on updating photos and stuff for Instagram. So uh, that I got pretty much caught up on today. I'll uh, put out a day at a time, uh, black and white photos of some of that stuff. So check that out on Instagram. It's also on the Karen Traveler photo uh, section of the website. I added a bunch to the uh, West Western Shadows Gallery, which is black and white, so the Southwest. And I, they turned out really good. I think you'll, you'll like those. Also had a big breakthrough as far as <clears throat> working with Photoshop, doing that whole batch export. I had um, about 100 photos and needed to apply a watermark to, to them and uh, figured out how to uh, automate an action and then do a batch and then export it all and just let it run automatically. It was pretty cool. So since I left home about two years ago, I've had the old Apple TV with me from home and hardly ever used it, uh, mostly because I ended up streaming right from the phone uh, using a HDMI port and cable just due to the data, data plan problem. The hotspot would run out way before the phone would and it would, it would cause problems. Anyway, so finally in the sake of minimalism, I thought, I need to kind of reevaluate whether I'm getting any utility out of this. So I hooked it back up just to see what I thought. And my data plan is different now, so it, it works better. But uh, I, I really like it. I'm, I'm loving it again. Um, 
The nice thing is that the remote actually controls the TV, both the power and the uh, volume. So you can select the shows and, and control that without messing with the other remote. So super happy about having that hooked back up. And uh, last adventure of the week on uh, Monday was a trip out to Chaco Culture National Historic Park. I'll show some footage from that. Uh, it was pretty remote. It's like two hours out in the middle of nowhere and it's 20 miles down an unpaved, pretty crazy road. But uh, I'll tell you, it was a beautiful park though. Um, just wide open, big skies, Pueblos all over the place, big, big old city there. Um, just loved walking around. I wish I had had more time. I got there around three and the park closes at five. So if I'd had more time, I would have done more trails out there and I'll, I may go back. But like I say, it is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So this finishes up my uh, stretch of five days off. I'm about to go into another five days on at work. So uh, we'll see what there is to share at the end of that. Maybe I'll do something next Tuesday and be able to show you that. Uh, next Friday when I get off, I'll sleep for a little bit and then the plan is to drive out to uh, Valley of the Gods with the Airstream. And we'll do our first boondocking with the Airstream for the next five days out there. Hopefully shoot some, some good footage while we're out. And, uh, I'll catch you back after that. Have a great week, guys.